what all of us are trying to do, and we've heard it over and over again this afternoon, is fight for working families, fight for justice, fight for the progressive vision that this country and world needs if this country and if democracy and if decency is in fact going to survive. Uh, and I want to just take a second uh, to make everybody remember uh, and appreciate and take pride in how far we have come as progressives uh, in recent years. We sometimes take it for granted. But as Katrina indicated, uh, I helped found way back in 91, the House Progressive Caucus. And frankly, never in a million years would I have dreamed that it would be as strong and as uh, effective uh, as it is today. I want to congratulate Pramila and all of the folks uh, in the caucus for the enormously important work uh, that they have done and are doing. And also, and Katrina made this point, is that to the consternation of corporate America, and in fact, the corporate wing of the Democratic Party, we have significantly changed political consciousness in this country. We have redefined what is politically possible and in fact, what the American people want and what they believe. And here is the simple truth. And that is whether you're black or you're white or you're Latino, you're Asian American, Native American, you're gay, you're straight, you're male, you're female. Poll after poll shows that the progressive agenda, what we are fighting for, is what the American people want. And don't let anybody ever convince you otherwise. Our agenda is the agenda of the working families of this country. At a time of massive and growing income and wealth inequality, and who else but us talks about that obvious fact. The American people do want the big money interest to start paying their fair share of taxes. They understand that it is absurd that two people own more wealth than the bottom 40% of the American people, and that the gap between the very rich and everyone else is wider than it has been in 100 years. They understand that it is unacceptable that huge Wall Street private equity firms like BlackRock control trillions of dollars in assets and have significant influence over hundreds of companies employing millions of workers. In other words, the American people do not like oligarchy and they want us to stand up to the oligarchs. And the American people know that our healthcare system is dysfunctional and they want us to lower the cost of prescription drugs and Medicare for all is gaining more and more support over the last few years. The mantra that healthcare is a human right and not a privilege is gaining support all across this country. And the American people understand that we have got to address the fact that we should be covering dental care and hearing aids and eyeglasses under Medicare. And they understand that we cannot continue to have the highest rate of childhood poverty of almost any major country on earth. And that we've got to greatly improve our child care and pre-K system so that people are not spending outrageous sums of money to simply make sure that their kids are well taken care of. And the American people understand that we have got to build affordable housing in this country, that it is a moral disgrace that a half a million people are homeless. They want us to end the embarrassment of being the only major country on earth not to have paid family and medical leave. And yes, the American people know that climate change is not only real, but it threatens the very existence of our country and planet. And that we have to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel. And all of these provisions, as I think everybody knows, are sitting right there in this Build Back Better plan. And as again, everybody knows, the House got it passed, but the Senate lacks two votes, Senator Manchin and Senator Sinema, to get it passed. And I just want to say a word on that. Um, I happen to believe that the current strategy of the Democratic leadership is wrong. 
I think that for the last six months, we have cajoled, we have begged, we have compromised, we have negotiated, we have sat in back rooms for endless conversations to get these two senators to pass, they help us pass the Voting Rights Act, which is so significant if we're going to maintain American democracy and to pass Build Back Better to protect the working families of this country. And we have failed. We have failed from a policy point of view. We haven't succeeded. And we have failed from a political point of view in the sense that our people, our supporters, are becoming demoralized. And what polls show is that everything continues the way it is. The Republicans stand a good chance of regaining the House and, in fact, taking the Senate. So I think we've got to change course. And I think what we have got to do is what democracy is all about. We got to bring the issues that impact the working class of this country onto the floor of the United States Senate, and we've got to vote. And if every Republican wants to vote against doing all of the things that are overwhelmingly popular that the American people want, they're going to have to go home and explain it to their constituents. And if Senators Manchin and Sinema want to do the same, they're going to have to go home and explain it to their constituents. But what we have got to do now, and do it very quickly, is show the working families of this country that at least 48 of us in the U.S. Senate are prepared to stand with them. We're prepared to take on the wealthy, the powerful, the oligarchs, and we're prepared to fight for a series, an agenda of proposals which meet the needs, the long neglected needs of working families. So that is something that I'm going to be fighting for in the coming days and weeks. And second of all, I would say on a very optimistic note, we have been working with a number of trade unions uh, around this country uh, in helping them in their strikes. And as some of you may know, just uh, the other day, a few days ago in Colorado, the commercial food and workers, uh, the United UFCW, won a huge victory against Kroger. 8,400 workers in Colorado were out on strike. They stood up firmly and they won a very strong uh, and positive contract. We're working with workers all over this country. We're trying to organize shops at Starbucks, and they're doing a great job. We've worked with other unions that are one and others that are still out on strike. So I think that in this very difficult moment, when we're trying to prevent the destruction of American democracy, when we're trying to save the planet from uh, climate change, when we're trying to protect working families from the dangers of oligarchy and income and wealth inequality. Now is the time, more than ever before, to be clear about what we stand for and prepared to take our issues to the American people. And I know that progressives all across this country uh, are, are working day and night to do just that. And what we stand for, which is economic justice, racial justice, social justice, environmental justice, this is what the American people want. So let's go forward together. Let's keep up the fight now more than ever. It's important that we stand firm and we do what has to be done.